the problem with is uh, with the education system in india is this skewed way of looking at a job you know with a btech degree and uh, and that is now you know completely giving a a wrong uh, picture of what is happening there has been a recent study that ibm had done and released in this year in march which said 66% of the respondents think that stem jobs will increase over the next decade with how much these mathematics based courses play a huge role in innovation and entrepreneurship do you think the education curricula of indian institutions are adequately equipped to meet these rising demands you know when you look at the education in india right now the the primary focus has been the it and computer sciences you know based education which is uh, you know one thing which is uh, completely skewing the the educational landscape because most of the students today you know are essentially coming to higher educational institutions to find a job right and when yeah. they are coming to educational institutions to find a job the only you know degree that can get them a job immediately is the computer science so if you do a btech in computer science from any institute for that matter you know you have a very high chance of finding a job with a decent uh, salary and all that so i think that is essentially has become the the guiding guiding spirit for all of our educational programs but uh, you know it is true that the the only sort of a uh, uh, you know branch or discipline that can get you a job after btech is computer science so therefore there is a craze for doing computer science and all of that but i think the my biggest worry is uh, there are jobs in other sectors too there is lot of innovation potential in the other sectors these happen to be let's say biotechnology or you take any engineering discipline for that matter they may not get you a job after btech degree but if you pursue education further right if you become if you do masters you know in semiconductor technologies there are so many jobs available if you do a phd in vlsi you know you become a, a kind of a you know sort of a candidate by almost every semiconductor company in the in the world today so i think uh, the problem with is uh, with the education system in india is this skewed way of looking at a job you know with a btech degree and uh, and that is now you know completely giving a a wrong uh, picture of what is happening but i think i would like to see more and more students uh, in other disciplines you know pursuing uh, higher educational opportunities like the masters and phd and then do innovation you know for example biotechnology now india with 1.4 billion people you know we have seen what uh, has happened during the covid time whether it is diagnostic technologies treatment technologies or prevention or vaccines everywhere you need lot of innovation and that uh, we are not able to explore uh, because you know we are not uh, pursuing uh, education to be able to innovate in any of these sectors you know that happens for uh, that is true for biotechnology nanotechnology cognitive technologies which includes all these ai ml or quantum technologies where government of india has just launched a billion dollar mission i think you know the opportunities lie there and uh, but then not many are pursuing higher education in these disciplines as a result uh, you know it's not really helping the country exploring the opportunities in some of these deep technology kind of area so so that is what i see as a, a big challenge in the country today otherwise i don't see anything wrong with the with the educational curriculum or anything and also the the lack of industry connect is also one thing which is uh, beginning to hurt us badly uh, you know for example at bits pilani uh, there is a that something which i have discovered after coming to this institution there is something called a practice school the practice school is every student of bits pilani goes and spends a minimum of you know two months in the summer and six months a full semester working for an industry and these industry internships are provided by the university you know there is a central process through which we place all the students and every student eventually finds a job you know because of that process because they acquire the skills that the industry is require almost 50% of students in bits pilani get a pre placement offers they don't even come for placement to so the practice school itself they find their job i think that is what is needed 
to be done in the country i think connecting industry with uh, with uh, academia more and more providing those internship opportunities and secondly encouraging our 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 students to pursue higher education and explore opportunities for innovation in some of these sectors other than it and cs i think these are the two directions that are urgently required you know to to you know make the country uh, you know, provide jobs to the students and make them job ready kind of thing.